Congrats! In the previous video, you were able to build the navigation bar plus the landing section. So in this video, we are quickly going to go over how can we animate these components like this, like the typewriter effect and the animate on scroll and slide on scroll library. So there are multiple libraries, for example, reveal JS, animate on scroll and so on. So in this project, I am using AOS, which is animate on scroll library. So as you can see on their landing page, they have shown some, some examples. So this is something super cool. This looks really wonderful to me. So I am using this library on my project here. So to include it, it's very, very simple. You just need to include the CSS file using this link here. So it's the CDN for this. Alternatively, you could have also installed it using NPM, but yes, I am just using CDN here. So let's go back to our project and inside the index.html, just below the fonts import, I will also import my AOS library. So that is something very simple. And some examples of usage you can see here itself. So I am going to use fade right and fade left. So fade right will be for this component and fade left will be for the hero image. So let's quickly copy and paste this inside our landing page. Inside the landing, I am going to copy data AOS, fade right to our landing left and the fade left to our hero image which is the flash image and that should do the work but I haven't uh, opened my development server yet I just closed it because I need to install one more library so as you can see we are also using this typewriter here typewriter effect here inside our deployed project so for this typewriter effect I am going to use the typewriter effect library so all you need to do is copy and paste this command npm install typewriter effect you can copy it from here and the link to this is npmjs.com slash package slash typewriter effect you can this is a very famous package because it has more than 6000 weekly downloads you can easily search for it on google and find it so yes let's install it very quickly to our local project and now how to use this if we scroll down for our normal projects we could have used the normal javascript but the best thing about this library is that they also provide a react component so that we can directly use it inside our react project so we could have gone for the more customized ones but i am using the simple one here because that fits our need so very simply i am going to replace all of this fast correct and quick by a typewriter component and don't forget we need to import the typewriter from typewriter effect as well so just copy and paste it from here but yeah you are going to see an error because it's still not completely installed so yeah let's wait for it to get installed and meanwhile let's replace the sentences the let uh, the words by fast correct and quick so that will do for it all right so installation was complete and now we can simply start our local server using npm start and see if we were able to set things up correctly all right so now that the development server is up and running let's have a look at whether or not did it work perfectly let's refresh our page but sadly it did not work it's not showing on the screen and you might guess that there is something wrong with the aos library because animate on scroll basically what it does is it reveals the pro uh, the components only after we reach it so there is definitely something wrong with the aos if you can guess let's go back to the aos documentation so as you can see here we did import the css but we forgot to import the JS and initialize the AOS library. So very simply, we are also going to include the JS. So it's very important to read the documentation properly. So yes, very quickly, I'm going to go to my index.html and then I am going to import this script tag and I am also going to use the AOS.init 
and also just so that uh, we don't face this versioning problem i am going to use aos at the rate next instead of this version and this should ideally fix our issue and yes things are up and running so i hope you enjoyed this video now we have our navigation bar and our landing section completely perfectly 100 percent ready so i am super excited to start building the next challenge section along with you guys see you in the next video bye bye